Okay. Oh, we're out of focus. Ugh, that's because I've been having a little too much wine. That's better. Whoa! I'm back. <laughs> we have the summer off. What? I'm sorry. Working on new recipes, actually. We're going to be putting out a cookbook in about a year or so, and we're trying to ramp up our repertoire and what we have for this uh, great new cookbook. So anyway, I'm happy to be back in the kitchen cooking for you folks. And we're going to be doing some grilling today, and we're going to do some seafood with an aioli sauce. Now this is from the Provence region, this sauce. It's beautiful over fish. The original recipe was really for boiled fish, boiled potatoes, boiled carrots. Yeah. Um, I don't like that stuff, boiled. It uh, doesn't have a lot of flavor. We're going to grill this stuff. And also we're going to do an eggplant recipe. It's eggplant season, yay! And uh, we've got uh, the nice big fat one and we have some specialty ones which we're going to grill over here. We've got all, all kinds of really good things going on in the kitchen today. I can't wait to cook with you. This is going to be a fun one. All right, let's start cooking. All right, so first things first. We are going to uh, work on the eggplant. We're just gonna, oh, it's a cute little knife compared to that other one, huh? But that'll be for more delicate work with the, with the specialty uh, Chinese eggplant. So we're going to cut this into slices over here and not too thin, not too thick, and right about, I'd say, a quarter inch slices or so. And we're going to, uh, you know, some people put this on a paper towel to drain all of the excess fluid. This is going to go in a grill pan. The flames are going to take care of that extra uh, moisture. So let's just cut this one right up with these specialty eggplant. Look, isn't that great? I mean, it's just really cool looking. The appearance is amazing. So we want to take off the top. And what we can do is we can cut it in half and then we'll just cut this one into strips. We can do into uh, half and then quartered. Just follow the lines of it so that it's uh, kind of uh, even in slices. If you don't do that, well, it's gonna look funny and it's gonna cook unevenly because you'll get these thin little pieces and fatter little pieces. Okay, the next step we have, no, actually, the next step is to have a little bit of wine. <laughs> is it too early? Yep. That's the beauty of cooking. You can drink when you want. And I'm going to snack a little with some saucisson. Mm. Mm. Snacking in the kitchen is great. So look at it. It's beautiful. It's all chopped up. Nice. Try not to speak with my mouth full. Extra virgin olive oil. How much? Ooh. A couple of tablespoons. A little bit of sea salt. I love the coarse sea salt. Oh, my wine almost went over. I would have cried. So, just a sprinkle of sea salt, some fresh cracked pepper, and then we're going to toss both of them and put them on the grill. Now, these I'll put in a grill pan because they could fall through the grates. Those I don't have to, they're nice and large and I can just put them right on the grill. I'm not gonna go out with a camera today because it's kind of raining, so I'll just explain things and come back in and show you. Okay, and this aioli sauce, once again, I'm replacing the garlic with shallots. I like a slightly milder flavor. And in Provence, let me tell you, they put a ton of garlic and it's, it's really good that way, but kind of tough to be around people the next day. But I like the sweetness of shallots anyway. So let's chop up a few shallots over here and I'll show you the technique and uh, this in just a minute. You want to do this as fine as possible and then we're actually going to finish it off in this mortar over here. So let me show you a little detail as to how I do this. The shallot is typically uh, two of these bulbs together and uh, what you want to do is cut it along the length like this. Be very careful. And then you want to do a fanning process so that you can uh, make it a nice fine chop. Get a few little fingers there. And, and then just chop it into little fine pieces like this. Okay, I'm working the shallots in this mortar and pestle. And we're going to add a little bit of salt. Once again, I have that beautiful coarse sea salt, just a pinch. And then a little bit of black mustard. As opposed to white. Black has a little bit more flavor as far as I'm concerned. White is good for a presentation under certain dishes and not necessary here. See, it's coming to a nice little paste over here. Looks good. Okay, we're going to leave that alone. 
Now, we have to get the egg yolks. To separate egg yolks, you have to do uh, one method to me, which is the most easiest. So basically, we'll take your eggs, crack them, put them in the bowl. We'll use three this time. What do you say? Let's get generous. And what I want to do is separate them by just scooping it out like this. And then it takes out the white part. How easy is that? It's looking pretty good here. Isn't that beautiful? Now we want to add a couple of drops of oil at a time while whisking constantly. This is the part you've got to be really careful for. Um, you have to start very slowly, otherwise it will break down, it will not emulsify very nicely. Once you put the first few drops in, like this, I'm going to stir it up a little bit more. And then we'll put a few more drops in like this. And stir it up very nicely. Take your time with it. Once I put a few more tablespoons in, then I can go a little bit faster. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. It is beautiful. Now, let's try it. Teaspoon of mustard. It's all personal preference. That's the beauty of this. Once you start to know your way around the kitchen, you can, uh, you can adjust as you see fit. You can always use a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. Always. All right. It's mixed well. Voila. C'est si bon. Okay, I am now grilling the eggplant disc so that we can put it all together in the oven. And this is the beauty of cooking, making your own personal decisions. Uh, some people prefer cheddar cheeses, some people prefer uh, Romano, uh, it, you know, Italian French cheeses. I'm going to use a combination of uh, what I had in the fridge. How beautiful is that? I have some Stilton that was infused with apricots. That gives an amazing flavor. I've got some blue cheese. I've got some cave aged cheddar cheese. I'm going to chop that up. It's going to water about, uh, it's going to be about a quarter pound in this recipe, and along with the whipped cream cheese, which we're going to put on layers in between these discs of eggplant and put it in the oven with breadcrumbs. Oh. And then we're gonna start on the seafood. Ah, so today, bien. We have our grilled eggplant. It's beautiful, look at, look at that. Nice, slightly charred uh, uh, pieces. We're going to lay them now in the dish. We'll put a dollop on each piece of the eggplant, and then we're just going to stack them in a fashion similar to uh, this so that you can actually see one piece over the other and we'll just slide it down the pan and we're going to put some mushrooms and a champignon on top of that just to gild the lily. Oh yeah, those mushrooms are golden brown. And what I'm going to do to finish it off is uh, drizzle some uh, melted butter on top of that. And we'll do some adorning over here. We'll put a few star fruit. Fruit is always good with seafood. Put a few pieces here and there. And also, I have some framboise, some raspberries. Who doesn't love raspberries? I ask you that. And we'll put a few on top. But you've got to remember, we have the aioli sauce, too. And that's really one of the main reasons that I did this segment today, is because I wanted to showcase uh, some fine French cuisine from the Provence region. And we'll just drizzle a little bit of this on top here. It goes great with swordfish but the most authentic fish would probably be the whiting for a dish like this. So we'll just put a little bit on top and it's gonna flake easy off of this. So, perfect. Thank you for joining me. I know we've had a hiatus over the summer, but uh, this was great cooking out on the first day of fall, which is feeling very summer-like actually, but uh, we have this, uh, try this uh, aioli sauce from the uh, south of France once again. It goes great on any kind of meat. I particularly love seafood. And we have this great uh, eggplant dish. It is now eggplant season. There's all kinds of great recipes, but I love it with cheese. You can put a tomato sauce. I am not going to do that. I might make a little mustard sauce to go on top of that, but it's truly good just the way it is. So enjoy cooking in the kitchen with your family and your friends and make memories that will last a lifetime. Take care.